The last time we fought Zodiac was on the final day of rain, and since then they have a couple of changes to their front line as you can see here so we didn't really know what to expect but we knew we needed to get our shit together because they have charisma and charisma is painful if you don't have your shit together okay here we eat off the bat and I like always we want to kill off the first person so we try for Virgo it does not work unfortunately procs are not on our side and instead of just attacking him even further which would one waste our cost and two give him more unison uh, we decide to just bury ourselves and you know protect ourselves so we do not die our clerics did a bomb ass job let me just put it out there first they did a bomb ass job in a good way <laughs> uh, okay so here we're trying to figure out who we we're gonna kill right so we decide to go for Ares. Ares is gonna go down, yes! And we saw Succubus, so we're like, oh no, oh no. Whenever you see Succubus, you just gotta pray, you gotta pray hard. She is the most useful 25 cost monster besides the Valk. Like, Valks have their uses, right? But for GVG, I do think Succubus is a lot better. Just because debuff kills in GVG. Debuff kills. And here again, we're just gonna regroup, defend ourselves, and regroup. That's the best way in these kind of long ass battles against Charisma, where it's basically cheer and charisma until the death of us. <laughs> you can't, you, you gotta play the long game with them, you can't. Unless you can power through it, like maybe you have three uh, mages and you can power through it, it just doesn't work. Like here, we try to kill Lutania, Lutinia, uh, it does not work. Uh, so we have to regroup again with our five stack debuffs, so barrier. And this, my friends, is why Lilith is so OP. You see Jack, you're like 28 cost farmable monster. Psh. And then you see this, and you're like, oh, that's why he's so useful. Yes. That's why the Lilith and Jack combination is super good if you can make a what is a plan around it. It's pretty good. But you need to be able to like sustain yourself. And here I was shitting myself because you know, fuck it, everyone's confused. But like game is like, what the fuck? Confused, what's that? And he recovers, thankfully. Oh, we were lucky right there. So a lot of this is RNG. They use Neza, which tells me I shouldn't be attacking because it's gonna waste my cost. So I barrier myself, and thankfully, through the confusion, I was able to barrier myself. And now, awesome Luca is here. Luca saves the day. <laughs> she takes off our debuffs, one, and then she debuffs the enemy, two. And she does a little damage. My damage is so sad, isn't it? <laughs> um, here, I think we decide to go for Lutania. Lutania again, right there. Bam! And we got him. We got him. I don't know if it's him or her, but I'm assuming it's a him. And here, um, Meds has uni, but she decides to hold it. Um, it really, like, doing uni is up to you guys. Like, after playing for a while, you get a sense of when to use uni and when to not. She held it because she thought it was the right thing to do, which works out for her, so that was all good. And she uses Dark Amelia, and then she debuffs them even more, and she gives us a 4 stack buff. So we are not as debuffed, but hell, we are still debuffed. And as you can see here, they have guard in their back line, which just boggles my mind because like I don't expect it. And they're just so tanky. Their whole their whole back line is tanky. Like what the fuck? <sighs> so jolly. Okay. Um, we throw out Neza and Andro. Andro debuffs them even more, and Neza gives us barrier. Like barrier saves lives. Like look at this. Look at this. No one touches anyone here. Uh, we tried to kill Soul Baron, but you know, it didn't work out very well. <laughs> it didn't work out! Uh, Rhea uses Valk, awesome, and then they buff and use Author. So Author, I don't know who carried Author, uh, it was one of their soldiers, right? It's, it's good, Author is good, but like, as a cleric, I don't think it was a good choice. No. Cause like author on a soldier uh, on a cleric doesn't do much damage. Like he has around 60k damage, which is a lot considering he's a cleric. But still, it doesn't do much damage. So maybe like a barrier would have been awesome. And here they didn't have a lot of coordination. Like two people were attacking different things, but we went for Virgo. We're like, bam, we kill him finally. Jesus, we started to kill him in round one, and like it took us so long, right? Amelia again, bitches. Amelia again. Freaking meds tanking like a boss. They barrier. It's like ugh, so much, so much barriers. We did so many barriers. They did so many barriers. Meds 
still hasn't died, which I, I am honestly barely surprised because usually they all go for meds, right? She's like a bait. She's the best bait ever. And like when she progs, like you can't kill her. But sometimes, you know, they prog and she doesn't prog, in which case you really rest in peace. And obviously, all our backline come in and we buff and we kill the crystal. Do we get it in time? You will find out.